From a bulldog to a tiger, one of Hopewell's own is headed way down south, and we'll flash back to Friday for a photo finish on the hardwood, as well as check out the hockey team that is one win shy of matching their total number of victories from last year. I'm Mark Fontes with Sports. Hopewell Valley Baseball, a longtime staple in the Mercer County Tournament and in state play, looks forward to this spring with star shortstop Kevin Bradley. Bradley can hardly wait either, but furthermore, he's looking forward to the four seasons that follow, too. The senior today signed a letter of intent to play at Clemson University. The deal sends Bradley there with a full-ride scholarship. Bradley will play shortstop for the Tigers, but says coaches may want him to play a couple of other infield positions, too. He says Clemson was the first school to make him an offer. Bradley adds that he is not sure yet what he wants to major in, but says the warm South Carolina weather will allow him to play his favorite game year-round. I always knew that I wanted to go to a place with uh, big-time other sports, and uh, this year it's been real fun watching the football team. And uh, being, a, being a Clemson fan, another big factor in choosing a school that was uh, in the South is being able to play and play outside uh, 12 months out of the year. Bradley, by the way, is the son of Princeton University baseball coach Scott Bradley, who in his own playing days was a standout at the University of North Carolina in the early 80s. To Friday we go. Already this autumn, things have been heating up between Princeton Day and Pennington. In October, Red Raider boys soccer beat the Panthers, and just two weeks ago, PDS returned the favor in ice hockey. Well, in boys basketball, a back-and-forth game Friday came down to the contest's dramatic final minute. The Princeton Day Zoo out in full force Friday at the Pennington School where the Red Raider Nation wanted to take this fight to the finish. Two-point lead for PDS closing inside of a minute to go. Miles Stevens with it just outside the arc. Dishes to Isaiah Taylor. He heads into the lane, feeds it back to Stevens who goes for the lead. No good. Rebound. B.J. Dudek covered tightly, mainly by Kaysan Randolph. Dudek, though, able to find Devon Reed. He moves up court with it. Reed's pass to Langston Glott. He's right there. Can't bank it. But there's Reed with the board and the bucket. A two possession game as the whistle blows just over 40 to play Pennington needing a quick score then a stop or a foul to have a chance James Anderson of the Red Raiders dribbling up court evaluating his options Randolph right alongside him gets the ball Randolph for three you hear the whistle air ball but he was fouled that'll mean three attempts from the line here it is again Glaude covering him he goes up to try and block the shot but it's a little too much of Randolph that he gets and not the ball a trio of free throw attempts first one good by Randolph three point game Second try, also good. 56-54 now the score. The third attempt, not the charm. Reed, the first one to get his hands on it. Then there's a scramble for the ball. Whistle blows. Timeout called by Pennington. Red Raiders still down by two. 28 seconds to play. Both sides talking things over. Neither can afford even the smallest mistake. The Zoo feeling a win. A tense last half minute, though. Randolph in three-point country finds an open lane. Tries to tie it. No good. Gets his own miss. Still can't hit it, though. Matt Cook comes down with it, but Randolph knocks it out of bounds, so Cook with the lucky break of the night. 5.8 to play. Now the Panthers will get to inbound it. Cook hooks up with Dudak. No foul called there. Glaud with it tries to run out the clock. Taylor fouls him, but go ahead, Zoo. The refs made PDS inbound it once more. Then time ran out once and for all. The Princeton Day Panthers hold on for a thrilling 56-54 win as the Zoo rushes the court in celebration. PDS boys basketball improved to 3-0 Friday night. Now to hockey. Steiner won only four games all of last season on the ice. Tonight against West Windsor South, they're going for a 4-0 start. And of course, Friday's matchup with Lawrence High was another pleasant surprise in a bright and early part of this Spartan campaign. Lawrence Hockey, the red visitors against Steinert in the white jerseys. The bleacher creatures who hollered everything Friday from Steinert football to Steinert soccer. How about Spartan Ice Hockey looking to stay undefeated Friday? Alex Verde shot saved nicely here by Lawrence goalie Alex Finan. Cards on offense, that's Corey Zrinko trying to notch an unassisted goal, but P.J. Alexiotis there to stop it. Joe Contrath, who already tallied a hat trick by period three, looking for goal number four, and he gets it! A beautiful shot by Contrath, who had a sensational game offensively, creasing the net four times. The game pretty much out of reach with just under three to play, but the cards did not want to go quietly. Pat Kelly of Lawrence with a couple fake shots, then a real one, and that slips in there. That avoids the shutout. Kelly scoring with a minute and a half to play. Steiner trying to run out the clock, but Ryan Zukowski says, I want some offense. He scores to make the final 5-1 Spartan hockey off to their best start in years, a feeling we asked their brand new head coach all about. We got a great group of kids that we're working with. Um, I have an unbelievable assistant coach, Coach Rossi. He, uh, he's really helping out. 
Um, it's just everybody's really just coming together as a team, and, and we've got a, a good core of older guys, and we have a, a good core of younger guys that have really chipped in a lot. Um, everybody's just chilling together better than we can ever expect. It's been been a blast so far. Three zero. You can't you can't argue about anything about that. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior NAMI Business Systems, a full-line computer sales and service center, your business solutions headquarters. Over the weekend, Petty Falcon Basketball played host to a special tournament. The Falcons, despite losing in the final 65-46 to Wilbraham Monson, took home second-place honors. They outpaced both Hun and Lawrenceville, who finished third and fourth, respectively. Well, that's all for sports on this Monday. In a moment, Mercer County close-up.